Hi everyone, welcome to a new video from Not Real Engineering. I know it's a long time after I posted a previous video, but some problems were going on and because of that I was not able to record any new video. So sorry for that. Hopefully from now on there will not be any issue and you will see consistent videos uploaded on this channel. Now let's start today's video. Today we are going to see how to apply a gravity load in Abacus. In most of the simulations, we don't consider gravity force because other forces applied on the component are much larger compared to force by gravity. But in some simulations, when you are dealing with large structures or heavy structures such as bridges, then it is very important to apply gravity load as well. And it is very easy task. It will not complicate your simulation that much. You will not have any convergence issue or something because of this load. So it's a good practice to always apply a gravity load. Gravity load is nothing but a uniform acceleration in a fixed direction. You can apply it in any direction you want. And by default, whenever you apply a gravity load, it will be applied to whole model. But you can change this. You can apply gravity load only to particular parts as well. Today, we are going to solve this example. As you can see, this is a bar with some huge mass on one end. And we are going to apply a gravity load as shown over here. All the dimensions are given over here. And we will construct this part using revolution feature. Hence, we have to create a sketch something like this. And we will revolve this sketch by 360 degrees around this axis of symmetry. For this part, we are going to apply material properties as shown over here. We are assuming this material is steel. We have to know Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio and density. Because gravitational load is acceleration, that's why we have to consider density as well. Otherwise, Abacus will give you error. And the value of gravity load is 9800 millimeter per second square. As usual, for this example, we are going to stick with SI mm units. That's why I converted this gravity load to millimeter per second square. And we have to convert this Young's modulus into megapascal and this density also into ton per meter millimeter cube. Let's start with Abacus CAE. First, set up your working directory and then let's create a part. I'm going to name it as bar. In this case, we will choose 3D, deformable, solid. And here you have to change it to revolution and approximate size. Maybe we can change it to 500. Say continue. Now we have to create that sketch in this first quadrant only. So I will use this lines command to create the sketch. First is 0, 0. Next point over here will be 50 comma 0 then next one would be 50 comma 250 okay then 150 comma 250 then 150 comma 350 and then 0 comma 350 and finally 0 comma 0 then press the middle button of mouse and say done. Now we have to give angle of revolution which would be 360 degrees. Say OK. And the part is ready. Next create material. Let me name it as steel. First let's give density. Now remember we have to convert that density into ton per millimeter cube. So density is 8050. And to convert into ton per millimeter cube, we have to multiply it by e raised to minus 12. Next, Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. Young's modulus is 210 gigapascal. To convert into megapascal, multiply by e raised to 3. And Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3. Say OK. Next, create section. I will name this section also as steel. Solid, homogeneous section. Continue. Select material steel. Say OK and assign the section to this whole part. Say OK. Next, go to assembly, create an instance, then go to step, create a step, static general step. Say continue. Now over here, it's OK if you don't change anything, but just to get a good animation, I'm going to go into incrementation and change this type to fixed. And over here, increment size, I will mention as 0.1. So we'll get some smoother animation and then say OK. Next, go to load. Now here, I am going to fix this surface. So for that, let's create a boundary condition. Say continue. You can create this either for step one or also initial step. Doesn't matter. I will create for step one. 
and let's name it as fixed continue select this surface and we will use this condition for fixing that surface say ok and secondly we have to apply gravitational load now it matters in which direction you want to apply gravitational load I think for this case we are going to apply in negative z direction so gravity will be working downwards over here for that create a load this I will name it as gravity and here you have to choose gravity this load has to be for step 1 say continue you can see over here by default the region is whole model if you want to change it you can change it but in our case it is very simple example we have only one part so we don't have to change anything over here now there are three values to provide component 1 component 2 and component 3 so z direction comes under component 3 and we want it towards negative z direction so i will provide minus 9800 and other components i will just keep empty or you can put 0 doesn't matter by default amplitude is ramp that is okay with us and let's say okay and you can see the gravitational loads direction as well so once you apply the load just make sure this is the direction what you want next go to mesh then change to part now as you can see this part cannot be meshed using current mesh control here if you just apply seeds let's say apply and if you try to mesh it will give error so to mesh this part first we have to go into mesh and then controls and change this element shape to tetrahedral and say ok now you can see the color also changed and now this part can be meshed I am going to change seeds a little bit maybe I am going to make it 80 so that we will have less number of elements and then mesh the part I know this is very bad mesh elements are too big but whatever I am using right now is abacus 2022 student version so if we have more number of elements it will not allow us to submit the job okay finally let's create a job let's name it as gravity load say continue and okay and let's submit it very few number of elements so job is done very quickly let's go to results now first i will just rotate this part because for our case gravity should be in negative z direction so something like this and now if you see the deform shape and stress you can see because of gravity it bent kind of downwards and there is a stress concentration over here you can see the displacements as well this surface is fixed therefore displacement is zero over here and maximum displacement is over here you can animate this in time using this command let's make it little bit slower So you can see how now bar is bending because of its self weight. Anyway, that's all for this video. It was a very simple concept, but still it is important to consider this while performing some big structural simulations. If you like this video, please go to my channel's homepage and you can find many more videos on similar topics. And just a small request, please subscribe to this channel to show your support. That gives me motivation to create even more number of videos. And you can also go to playlist and here I combined all different types of videos together category wise so if you want to learn software ANSYS then you can just watch all the videos from this ANSYS tutorial and finally if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching